Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video is a long awaited video and thanks to Alex, uh, House of Queen 2, we are now available to do this video. The only reason I can't do this video is because bitch can't afford, okay? But even though this is a cheap brand, what some people somewhat forget is when you are buying a full face, that price quickly adds up. So I am lucky that I have a friend that's already brought a full face to do a review. So he's brought it around, he's set right there. Whilst I do a quick review, I have also just filmed another video of a full face makeup and I've just sat here and removed my base so I can film this for you so I can get it up ASAP. But yeah, let's get into today's video which is gonna be testing out 17 makeup. So yeah, before we carry on, if you're not subscribed, please do leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And let's get into this. Let's start off. I don't know how much things are, so you're gonna have to tell me. And I've just read matte base. Four. Okay, so this was four pounds. If you we're going off guesstimate, pounds. we're going off guesstimate here. So this is the matte base perfection oil control primer. I need some sort of moisturizer. So I'm going to use the Elamasca Hydrovil primer as a moisturizer because this stuff she's hydrating. But if I put my face straight with a matte base on top, you know it's not happening. Okay, we're somewhat moisturized. Really nice primer, by the way. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the Matte Base Professional Oil Control Primer. If this doesn't come out like a weird mousse, then I'm confused. Confused? That looks like a moisturizer. Feels like a moisturizer. Ah, oh, there we go. That's the texture. <laughs> Got it. Do you know what? This would be good for my forehead lines. Let's get that in there. Oh, quickly does that matte apply down? Oh yeah, that's proper matte. I have not used a matte primer in so long. That's ridiculous, oh my God. Once that's set down though, that's not bloody budging. She said no glow. Sad. But it actually feels really nice. Like it doesn't feel like drying, to be honest. It does feel thick though. Why does it make my nose stick? Like it does feel like a really nice primer. This when in summer when you are producing a lot of oils will actually feel really nice. But for four or five pounds, pretty decent for a matte primer. On my nose it looks pretty good. Let's give a close up. Yeah, that's a proper matte primer. When they said matte, they were not joking. Oh shit. Wow. Oh. That might be the hydrophil grip mixing with the... Oh no. That's completely... That's the mix together, I think. Removing. The hydro grip. It's the mix together, doesn't work probably then. Yeah, but did you rub yours after you touched it? I've rubbed mine in. No, I rubbed it in and just now I went to wipe off a bit of something that I found on my face and it was balling off. Well, yeah, I mean, no, that's all over my hand, so that has completely balled up. I didn't use the high strip on mine either. I just used strip with my primer. When I tell you it's balling off my face badly. Okay, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Primer is three pounds. Primer is three pound. Three pound can stay there. I think that might be the hydro rip, not the actual primer, because mine was fine. Well, I'm wiping off both, and we can try again. Yeah. And if it does it again, we but know what it is. It felt good initially, and then I felt it dry down. I was like, hmm, sus. But I'm gonna put it on one small part of my section of my face, because if I keep rubbing my face, I'm gonna get really sensitive. We're not off to a great start. Brown two, we're gonna try again. I'm gonna grab a little bit, and I'm gonna plop it here. I'm gonna wait for it to dry down. We're gonna see if it does the same thing. Do, 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 do. It's the yeah. primer. It's the primer. It's fully balling up. So that is... As as no, it is. It's literally falling off my face. No to that primer! Yeah, no. That has completely... The second time I cleaned my face. Bye-bye. Absolutely not. Then you wouldn't really, like, rub your face after putting primer on, would you? Yeah, but I... Some people... When I go to put foundation on, that will disturb that, and then it will do it with my foundation. So you've got to test it before. Let's say I go to use a beauty blender, and I've now beauty blended. It's now patching up all that primer. It's now balling up. It does the exact same thing. So I always feel my face with a new primer because of stuff like that. My face feels smooth, very because I've just exfoliated it with a bloody wet wipe. But I'm back with a proper primer. Okay, but you're back. I've just primed with the Laura Mercier primer, the Pure Canvas Hydrating Primer, and then I just put the Collection Filter Finish on top in shade two. Look at the skin. Now let's get into the foundation. The foundation is obviously Alex's. Alex's darker than me. Uh, not this light anymore, but... That was the really name Yeah. Changer. Before he went on holiday, he was darker than me still. Now he's 10 times darker than me, so it's fine. So I'm gonna try this shade, and if it's too dark... You might be able to work with that. You might be able to. Let's pop some on the face. This isn't obviously my perfect shade. This is in the shade 3N. So this is the Second Skin Enhancing Foundation. Long lasting liquid foundation with medium coverage for an actual healthy looking base. Combination for cervical powders help to minimize the appearance of imperfection formulated with vitamin E, hyaluronic acid, and give your skin a fresh finish. You wouldn't even know I was dyslexic. Sometimes my dyslexia doesn't kick in, and sometimes it fucking well does. Okay, let's blend. Let's see what going on. Oh. So, this is my Coco Cosmetics Beauty Blender. 
Oh, she's stunning. She's something I'd like. It's like beautiful skin jig, I think. Mm, that is stunning. A five pound. Look at that. And with my glowy base underneath, that honestly looks really good. I know they do a glowy primer, and I know you pick the matte one because you're a matte queen. But I also the Lee Beauty one was a whole pound more. Oh, rude. <laughs> I know, right? I was like, a pound more? Fuck it, I'm gonna do matte. No, I think the Illuminator primer is five pounds. When I was looking, it was five pounds. No, whatever primer I was looking at was five pounds. I was like, five pounds for a primer. When you're supposed to be cheap. The fact. I do have to say, this does look really nice. I don't want to see if it builds up a bit more though. No, doesn't look too bad. Looks a bit yellow though. We're blending this on top and it is building up actually really nicely. It's giving me beaut vibes. It does look very good for five pounds. Go 17. Beach says good. Uh, that does look very good. Like, I actually really like that. That would be a foundation I would pick up. This gives me my LA Girl Pro coverage vibes. For a beautiful skin like tinted moisturizer type of foundation, that's a lot of coverage. <laughs> okay, now let's get into concealer. The concealer. Second skin in Hot Sun Concealer. You were great with the names. Booby Bender. What colour is this? We have two N. This is the Doe Foot. Doe Foot's pretty basic. Not even a nice one. Just went for two pound though. Oh yeah, this is two pound. For two pound or bad. Let's see what coverage you give me though. If you ain't giving me coverage, that's it. I ain't spending two pound on shit. Oh, it's thick. Oh, she's thick. Do you know what? It's actually a really nice shade to go with this foundation. To be honest, it's giving me Huda Beauty. Earlier I did my makeup. We had this much contrast. I'd be fine. I like one side of the doe foot more than the other. This smooth side is not the flatter side that's better because it's holding the product there. Mm. On the other side, it's just vibing. It's like the other side is there to spread and this has like a little hole in the middle that's holding all the product. So if I just do this and use the back side, there's fuck all on there. Oh yeah. Oh my God, I look like I should be in the middle of the desert uh, with those funky lines all over my face. Just like, whoo, ha. Ah. <laughs> I definitely should. <laughs> Okay, Miss Bird. Huh? Yeah. Don't let it set. Bitch, I only just put it down. Am I the only one that has their boyfriend, like, family on their phone? Bear in mind, I've known these people for three years. They're down as Max's mum, Max's dad, Max's brother, Max's home. <laughs> That's how I remember them. That's why. This is exactly why it broke down the foundation. This concealer is oil based and the oil has broken apart from the pigment, which is why it's breaking apart the foundation. Is it oil based? Yes, that's completely oil based. Look at my skin. Oh, this give you a blend. And as I blend, it will mix the pigments back together with the oil, but the warmth from my skin has separated it. Nice color though. Like you see this? That's what happens when you have an oil based concealer that has too much oil in it. The pigments will start to separate. It's actually a water base. That's oil. Water, aqua. That's impossible. What the fuck? It's a water based vibe. Then why is it just an oil work? Once it's blend out, nice concealer. For two pound, real good. But it did separate. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna blend this, set this straight away because I know if I leave this, it will disturb itself. So we're gonna go in with the 17 Perfect Finish Translucent Powder, a white one. So it can look like a friendly ghost. Three pound fifty, not too bad. So if does life actually really likes this. One of these bad boys. Oh, this actually looks really smooth on the beauty. That actually looks really good. That's the first good sign. If when you go put a powder puff into a powder and it like clings, yeah, you might have a little bit of difficulty with that one. And set, so, let's see what it does. Hasn't got a cast to it, really nice. It's a really nice powder. Mmm. You know what? That's actually really nice and it's quite brightening. Look at that. She can lift. Let's do the other eye. This is actually a really nice powder. You know, Sophie Dose of Life was raving about this one and what was the other one? Oh, Primark. It's the same concept powder and she was really liking it. I was like, hmm, can't be that good. Looks bloody good for £3.50. Look at that bad boy. Mmm, I like you. We'll come back to you in a minute. We need to do some more cream products. I'm gonna quickly go off camera, do cream bronzer, I'll be back with cream blush. We're back and we're chiseled. Let's zoom you out, you're a little bit too close. Personal space. Just grabbing a bit of that powder and kind of snatching my schnoz a little bit because that contour is definitely a little bit harsh. So I just want to say, I looked back at my review and the concealer did separate on me as well. It all took off my foundation. Okay, now just stamping right in there. I used the Too Faced Concealer in the shade Caramel as my cream contour for my nose. We've set that, so now we can go into the cream blush. So the cream blush is the one thing that Alex actually said that I really need to try. So this is the Glow Color Glow Cream Blush. This is a super smooth blush, cream for healthy, flushed and a fresh look. So soft it feels like you are bare faced with moisturizing glycerin. Oh, looks like a nice color. Four pound for the blush. She's a cute color though. I am, the foundation has settled down. Um, I noticed that when I was cream, uh, blending out my green contour because I took time to do the concealer. It 
now settling down and it's a little bit harder to blend the cream contour but let's add a little bit of the cream blush and see what that does oh she's pretty she'd be better with a different foundation though I think it's yeah if i tried it a little bit with a different foundation to be nice because the foundation has settled down so it's going on top very nicely i'd have to say oh that's stunning four pound that's bloody good look at that yes bitch i actually really like that that's my favorite so far the foundation was nice the foundation was like an out eight out of ten yep. ten out of ten love that okay the powder is beautiful though so that is the powder nine out of ten defo like i would buy this and use it all the time yeah. let's chisel because we need to be snatched no i always do it before because then my powder contour doesn't look as harsh i'm gonna somewhat set that cheek down a little bit oh i like how this powder is so translucent that it actually showed through my bronzer thing is with my cream contour a lot of the time with powders they will be dyed down when i put a powder down i'm just like yeah but anyone need to happen powder love the powder is looking hella smooth as well i do have to say we have just filmed and it is currently 11 50 at night and i thought you know what fuck it let's do this video basically i had it on the bed i didn't even i thought he had a few products but he didn't say to me he had a full face otherwise i would have been a lot more excited about it. <laughs> and then like as soon as i put it in the little tub and then i put it on the side you're like oh you have a full face they're like yeah. well duh <laughs> It's me, it was your expense. Yeah, when you use that foundation, blend your creams pretty quickly. Um, because a little bit of patchiness with my cream product that I use all the time, uh, just because the foundation set down a little bit quicker. So next is this bronzer. Yes, this does look dark. But it's called a light hand. Uh, three. For this concealer to be two pound and this three pound fifty makes zero sense. Okay, let's try this. See what it's like. Okay. The pigment isn't there straight away. Let me do one side. Yeah, I'd expect this to be like £2.50. I don't think I need enough more blush, but that would be fine. The bronzer's nice. Like, it's a nice bronzer. I like it. For £3.50, it's good. It's not It's not throwing me like, oh my god, she's revolutionary. She's not. But she's a nice bronzer. For £3.50, if you're looking for something that looks nice on the skin, she's cute. £3.50, not fucking bad. Next is this blush. Can we just elaborate the colour? Look at that bad boy. So this is Plum Blossom. Using the same brush as always and heavy hand because blush is my favourite. We may have put a little bit too much on. <laughs> Thing is I told Alex not to tell me his review. So then this was full on me and he sat here just looking at me like, <laughs> he looks horrified. You know what? I look fucking cute. Yeah. That, do you know what? Light hand. And very nice. How much is it? Finding well, that even my, if you, saw, you saw my fairy tale, you saw how much blush I had on. Yeah, but the top, the cream blush itself was enough blush. Mm -hmm. So this on top is just like, oh, she's extra. Three pounds. Three pounds for that. Better. But do you know what? That looks really nice. I think she's cute. I prefer that over the bronzer. She's got a lot more pigment power to her. Three pounds fifty for that. Beautiful the color. Next, we're going with the glow highlighter. This is the highlighter reflect liquid highlighter. I've seen people review this really well. This is five pound. I'm pretty sure. Light. <gasps> First of all, I know what light hand is a liquid highlighter, and I had to work with it. I'm a boss. Uh, this is giving me the color. It's giving me. Do you know the beauty crop one? Do do you that one? Yeah, the color is very similar. Very similar. Yeah, that is basically it. How much is this? Five pound. So it's not that much cheaper than the beauty. Four pound fifty. Not too bad. Whereas the beauty crop one is eight pound. So you pay a little bit more. So I'm gonna pop that into my beauty blender. This is giving me extreme vibes. Yeah. I actually want to show you the different, the like similarities. That is a full on dupe for that. I'll tell you that one for free. Let me add that onto the skin. I do have to say this one's blending a lot easier than the beauty crop one. Like the beauty crop one can dry down really quickly, which can be a bad thing, but also can be a good thing. But I'm gonna show you the difference. I love how I noticed this straight away. So this is the beauty crop one. So that's the 17 Cosmetics beauty crop. Bear in mind, that's just a spread out of that one. Let me add a little bit more of the 17 Cosmetics to that bit there. That's a full on dupe. So if you're looking for a dupe for the beauty crop, glow milk look at the similarities that's a glow milk that's a 17 and look at the color as well so this color is uh o2o rose that color is the dupe for the beauty crop glow milk in the shade dew just do it 
So, we got a dupe on our hands. Look at that bad boy. I'm good at finding dupes. You can find the bullet even chatting. Exactly. It's a skill of mine. And this is a product you can literally pop all over your face for £4.50. That's really good. I like that. I would buy it in a more of a gold shade because I know they have gold shades. Um, just because the reason why I don't pick up my glow milk as much as I want to is because it is more of a pink shimmer. This mixed with the blush. blush. Stunning. Let's give it a little mix. Give a little cocktail. Oh yeah. The formulas aren't matching. The formulas aren't mixing. No, no, no. One's based on something else. Okay. How are you can tell a formula isn't mixing when it gives this like, do you know that textured look of like a mousse texture? If you look close enough with this, you see that moussey texture within it. So mixing them, probably not the best thing, but are we still going to put it on our cheek? Fuck like, yeah. So I'm going to pop that on my hand. It looks lovely on the skin, but it is giving blush vibes. Oh yeah, mixing those two together, beaut. Like on the hand, they didn't look like they were gonna mix nicely, but on the skin, that is layered really nicely. Look, look. It's giving glow, it's giving beaut. I do wanna try Moment Choice little blush lights, um, but 16 pounds for one is a lot. But that actually looks really nice, and the highlighter, I really like them together and separately. They don't mix combine perfectly when you mix it on your hand, but on the skin, they look okay, like they look nice together. Like you wouldn't know that that did it on my hand, that's what I'm trying to say. Next, we're gonna add even more highlighter. <laughs> so this is the Lights On Highlighter Powder. It doesn't look too shimmery, O2O 2 Rose. So this is the cream highlighter in powder formula. I'm only gonna add a little bit of this because I feel like I'm gonna glow for life. She's glittery. That does look really nice though. She's glittery, That I have to say that. But for a pink highlighter, that's gone on top really nicely. Very nice. £3.50. £3.50, I was going to say. So I'm going to pop a bit on my nose, see what that looks like. If a highlighter looks nice on my nose, that's a good thing. Oh, it looks nice and smooth on my nose. It looks 20 times better on my nose than it does anywhere else. Hey, look at that. That's actually really cute. I like it, but I buy it myself. No. Would you steal it from Alex? Yes. No. Okay, next we've finally got a little lip combo and then we are finished. So we've got the Lip Define Pencil O2O Rose Brown. As you can tell, Alex likes something rosy. Um, so I just give it a little sharpen. Now, let's try and see what it looks like. Creamy. How much is this? 150? That's so good. That's a really nice creamy texture. This is giving me Doll Beauty formula. She's a cute like plum shade, which I quite like. That formula gives me full on Doll Beauty vibes. And Doll Beauty lip liners are eight pounds each, which is a lot of money when it comes to a lip liner. I don't think so, I think it's at 850. Um, but for two pound, that formula to die for. I'd pick this up in more shades. That's a lip liner that I'd go back and buy again. So final lip gloss, the lacquer gloss. So this is obviously a pigmented gloss. Oh my God, it's got the Doll Beauty new lip gloss doe foot. It looks nice on the lips, but I tell you now, if a lip gloss drags that much, don't buy it. The colour is phenomenal though. Oh, it smells so good as well. It's really sad that the texture's like that. I'd pay more so the texture was nicer. So how much do you think it is? I think it's 150. And if it is 150, it shows the price. How much is it? Four pound. You know. Mm -hmm. Do you see why I It's a love, the smell of it, the colour of it, beaut. The texture of it, like it's got a really nice colour to it. So if you don't mind the texture of a gloss, like once it's on, you can feel it. Like you can definitely feel it, but putting it on can be quite a drag. It's a drag, you, you laugh at your own joke there. Oh yeah. But the colour is phenomenal. I just don't like the texture. That should be priced at like 2 50 yeah. £4, I expect better. Because there are companies that are out here producing a lot better Primark formula. Exactly, well, exactly like Primark. Producing the same product cheaper and better texture, but the smell, what is that smell? Because it smells amazing. I don't know what it is, but it smells really good, but it doesn't feel good on the lips. But this is the cute little look we've got. It's like a My Lips But Better kind of amplified vibe. She's cute. I might add a little bit extra mascara on my bottom lashes because I definitely added it. What's the one? So this is the 17 Another Level Volume Mascara. <laughs> I didn't think volume mean more volume of the fucking what? Really what? Why does it look like a Christmas tree? <laughs> Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. <laughs> Christmas tree. Some of my best videos are filmed with my ADHD kicks in. It's the fan at the end. Let's do some damage. <laughs> this is why we use it at the end. Oh, she's clumpy. How much was this? 
How much do you pay for it? Not a fucking pound. I'm being so gentle with my eye right now, and I yet yeah, I'm still stabbing myself. Two pound. <laughs> yeah, you can shove that two pound back in my bank again. The formula on my eyelashes is really clumpy, but look at that. And the one looks like Mrs. Christmas, Mrs. Santa Claus, it's just pictures of Christmas trees. <laughs> it gave me clumpy. <laughs> that no. Okay, so that's a full face, my darling of 17 cosmetics. I do have to say there were definitely some hits and definitely some misses. There are some products in here I'd never put my face over again. And then there's some products I love. So let's get into the final review. First of all, absolutely not. The primer, <laughs> never seen it again. Uh, do I recommend it? Absolutely not. Bye. Powder blush, she's cute. She could like eight out of 10. She's very nice. Uh, like be careful with your hand with it though. But the color is really nice. Like this is something that I really enjoy. The highlighter, stunning. Great dupe for the glow milk. I actually think for £4.50, you can't go wrong with this. Like that formula is amazing for the price. Like usually you have to spend more to get a good formula. And to be honest, I do. My favorite highlighter is £30. So I will spend more for a better quality highlighter. Whereas the quality of this is giving me higher vibes. Foundation, seven out of 10. Do you know why? If it stayed glowy, blend all my creams effortlessly, take my time, I'd love it. But it did mattify down a little bit. So that's why I dock it down. But if you do like a foundation that goes on glowy and then starts to settle down, you'll like this. Bronzer, she's okay. Highlighter, once again, glittery, okay. If you're looking for a nice highlighter, it is nice, but it is glittery. So take with that what you will. Next, what I love is that Alex sat there and he don't give a fuck that I'm giving such a weird review. <laughs> Next, lip lacquer. Really, texture could be so much better. Add a little bit more moisture, something in that, and you'd have a ride or die product. Like, it's sticky. No one likes a sticky gloss. Concealer. <laughs> the concealer, once blended in nicely, uh, it's a good light coverage concealer. Like, it's nothing like in your face, but for two pounds, can you get more? Mm, no, to be honest, I've reviewed other concealers that are cheap. And to be honest, the price tag matches it. Like I've reviewed a concealer that's one pound 50. And <laughs> Absolutely not. But this is all right for its price. Um, it's a nice concealer. So if you're looking for a cheap concealer that's work nice, great. But it did separate originally on my face. And then when I went in my beauty blender, it then mixed it back in. But I shouldn't have to do that. So there we go. Blush. She's cute. We get a round of applause. This is actually stunning. I actually really like this. 10 out of 10. She's beautiful. She's gone on top of powder really nicely. And underneath powder, she's 10 out of 10. Lip liner, give me doll beauty vibes. Doll beauty vibes every day. And for £2, I will go to the shop and buy every shade. Lip liner, you did good. Mascara, go back to Christmas land because they ain't fucking coming here. Okay? Because absolutely not. What in holy dofer was that? <laughs> Who <laughs> ever <laughs> thought that wand was okay after many people when i tell you when you look into the beauty industry and you could watch 10 youtube videos of people reviewing mascara if you gave them a wand each and every single one of those people will complain at you. so whoever thought that was a smart idea to pass that what the fuck that is the worst wand i've ever seen in my life and the mascara itself was clumpy hella clumpy and really drying so that had nothing good about it it's got nine mils of product oh my god the powder She's stunning. <laughs> I do have to say, the powder, I would go out and buy myself, and I'd buy myself a few pots of this. For £3.50, look how smooth I'm looking. This saved the day. If I left it up to the concealer, I'd be looking patchy right now. Okay, but this is really good, and I do I believe with Soap Does Life, she did test this out, and she absolutely loves it. As long as she, she loves the Primark one as well, that's the same type of product and both of them act very similar and she loved it. So now I've tried it. Definitely got to try out the Primark one, but this, she's had a cue. But yeah, that's it. That's it from my full face of 17 products. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and we finally got this full face of 17 products. When I tell you, this is my most wanted video of life. How many videos? I will upload a video. And when I tell you four out of five of those fucking comments is when are you gonna be testing out 17 cosmetics? And I'm like, I'm broke. Stop screaming at me, guys. Make thank you. Send in the cash and she'll do it then. I do have to say, I understand that most people want me to test out everything but what other people have to understand i am not like other influencers that are like other people that are receiving products from every brand under the sun and not using it to be honest um i buy most of my products and when it comes to like full face of primark and full face this it comes out of my bank does it come out of the brands no i don't message them to be like oh can you send me this product so i can test it out no because when you do that and then you test it out, it goes in the back of your drawer, sits there, you've done a review on it, you've got the hype for it, most likely you got paid for it, um, and that's it. Whereas I will kind of give you a straight honest review on each product to say if I would or would not purchase them myself, especially when it's coming to a situation like this. If I had purchased this to find that half of these products I do not like, I would have been disappointed. 
I would have been disappointed completely honest with myself um, and I would have got rid of the products that I think because I don't believe in storing products that I don't like. A lot of people keep products just to hoard it really. I will not keep it and I will be truthfully honest with it all. So yeah, I have to say when it comes to these full face of these products, if I am lucky enough to get products gifted, I will fully announce it. But I will still be truthfully honest. Tr every bit of shit that comes out of my mouth, it's yeah, honest. It ain't filtered. It ain't filtered. I have what to be cautious stories, of people's reviews. Like, if I never see that product come out again, I'm like, you gotta pay for that. Yeah. I'll look for the like, ad in the thing and be like, yeah. do you actually like it? Yeah. You just pay but that's the thing, like I only do products. I did one, I did a few testing video like ads, and that's because the brand has completely said to me, be completely honest, we just want you to test the product. And I'm like, okay, cool, fine. I'll do a video for you with that. That's fine. But if a brand goes to me, okay, we're gonna gift you these products, you have to say something nice to do a video, I'm gonna be like, thank you. Yeah, yes. no, thank you, but next one. But yeah, I do have to say that most of these products do come out of my own money. So I have to think smart of what I have to spend my own money on. And right now I've just brought a dog. And if you know about dogs, you know they're bloody expensive, which means for the past few months, I have not brought makeup. I've been luckily gifted a few products from Beauty Bay for some content and I did that content, they loved the content and it, I was allowed to be completely myself and I got those products and yet I still love those products and if I find something that I don't like and I thought you know other people might like it I'll go to my patrons first of all to see if they want to try it out and then I'll go to my Instagram so if you want to follow me over there like that um, but yeah that's truthful honesty uh, thank you guys for watching today's little video testing out 17 products 17 cosmetics definitely hit and miss definitely hit and miss it's not like all this rant and rave that everyone's been raving about like oh my god it's to die for it's cheap it's cheap makeup but with cheap makeup you're gonna have shit and some goods some goods where they actually hit it right on spot and there are some products that it's just like yeah no like body collection there were a few products that was like absolutely not but i have found a few of my ride or die products through that video here we are but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye, bye guys